Hey, this is Connie with the Power of Three for Couples. We are looking at dominating thoughts. What are the thoughts that dominate your mind? So often we're looking in the rearview mirror so much. We can only see our past and our past has all the power over us. And when that happens, we don't see where we're at now and we don't see where we're going. You're gonna have a wreck. Your life is gonna have a wreck. Let's think about a train wreck where all those cars come piling forward because you were looking in the rear view mirror instead of looking where you're at now and where you're going. Dominating thoughts. What thoughts dominate your mind? I want you to think about energy and how we have negative energy and we have positive energy. I like to be around people who give positive energy. Those people who take energy, literally for me, take my energy and I don't want to be around them too long. So let's look at three different things that demonstrate energy. Sometimes there's energy that you can actually see. You can see it in someone's face. You can see it in front of you, what is going on. Maybe you're at a Broadway show and you see all that energy that's put out there. Sometimes you can see energy and sometimes that you can feel it. For instance, if you have a spouse who is frustrated with you, angry with you for something, think about it. Think how loud that energy is when it's quiet and nobody's saying anything. It's a loud, negative energy. At the same time, you know, when you walk into a room or someone else walks into a room, you know, when you walk into a room, do you light up the room? because you bring energy, positivity, and great things to people? Or do you darken that room when you walk into the room because you are negative and you've got negative energy all around you? And then one more, I don't know if everybody can perceive this, but for me, I'll be driving along, happy, listening to the radio, everything's cool. All of a sudden I feel this negativity upon me and it's happened a million times. And I look in my rearview mirror and there's somebody chewing at my bumper. They're probably in a hurry. They've had a hard day. They are exuberating negative energy. The truth is between light and darkness, light doesn't really like darkness too good. We like to be able to see where we're going. But at the same time, darkness hates light. Why? Because literally, when you're in a dark room, you cannot see anything, but when a little bit of light comes into the room and shines in that darkness, darkness is unveiled and you can see what's going on. So darkness hates light. Light dislikes darkness, but it can handle it, right? Light dislikes darkness, but darkness hates the light. What kind of energy are you exuberating today? What kind of thoughts do you have on your mind? Do you light up a room when you come in or do you light up the room when you go out? Connie Durham, Connie's Clever Concepts. Thanks for listening.